Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question one from the International Maths Olympiad, 1998. Determine all pairs A and B of positive integers such that AB squared plus B plus seven divides A squared B plus A plus B. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hit number one. So from the question, we know that AB squared plus B plus seven divides A squared B plus A plus B. And we also know that an integer divides itself if it's not zero. And so AB squared plus B plus seven divides AB squared plus B plus seven. How can you develop on this fact to go forwards with the problem? Hint number two. So if x divides y and x divides z, then x divides py plus qz for some integers p and q. Notice that p and q can be negative. Hint number three. So using hint number two and hint number one, we can write a b squared plus b plus seven divides b multiplied by a squared b plus a plus b minus a multiplied by a b squared plus b plus seven. Hint number four. So after hint number three, we will arise with three cases when the expression is greater than zero, equal to zero and less than zero. And we need to treat these three cases separately. Hit number five. For the final case, a brute force method works just fine. So you will likely find a bound for B and a bound for another variable. And then you can just look at all the possibilities within those bounds. Solution. So we know that AB squared plus B plus seven divides A squared B plus A plus B from the question and AB squared plus B plus seven divides AB squared plus B plus seven since that expression is not equal to zero. We also know that if X divides Y and X divides Z, then X divides PY plus QZ for some integers P and Q. Setting P as B and Q as minus A, we will get AB squared plus B plus seven divides B multiplied by A squared B plus A plus B minus A multiplied by AB squared plus B plus seven, which simplifies to B squared minus seven A. Then we arise with three cases when B squared minus seven A is greater than zero, when it's equal to zero, and when it's less than zero, and we will look at each of these three cases in turn. So first we will look at when b squared minus 7a is greater than zero. Then ab squared plus b plus seven is less than or equal to b squared minus 7a because ab squared plus b plus seven is a factor of b squared minus 7a. And now we will consider ab squared and b squared and we see that ab squared is greater or equal to b squared because a is a positive integer and b plus seven is greater than minus seven a, again, because a and b are positive integers. So we can quickly see that the left-hand side is greater than the right-hand side, which is a contradiction, and so there are no solutions. We will now move on to the second case, where b squared minus seven a is equal to zero. Now, whatever the value of a b squared plus b plus seven is, zero will always divide it because a b squared plus b plus seven is not zero. So we just need to make sure that b squared minus seven a is equal to zero or b squared is equal to seven a, which gives us a b equal to seven k squared seven k for some positive integer k. We'll now move on to the final case when b squared minus seven a 
is less than zero, which can be written as 7a minus b squared is greater than zero. Then a b squared plus b plus 7 is a factor of 7a minus b squared. And so we can rewrite this as x multiplied by a b squared plus b plus 7 equal to 7a minus b squared, where x is a positive integer. And we can expand the left hand side to get x a b squared plus b x plus 7x equal to 7a minus b squared. Now, if we consider the bulk part of the equation, we can quickly see that b squared x must be less than 7 so that the left hand side is not greater than the right hand side. And this leaves us with b equal to 1 or 2 since b and x are positive integers. We'll first look at when b equals 2. Then we have x equals 1 because 4x must be less than 7. And so we get 4a plus 9 equal to 7a minus 4 or 13 equals 3a, which gives no integer solutions. Now we will look at when b equals 1, and so x is less than 7. We only have six options for x, so we can look through all of them. x equals 6 gives 6a plus 48 equal to 7a minus 1, a equal to 49. x equals 5 gives 5a plus 40 equal to 7a minus 1, a will not be an integer. x equals 4 will give us a equals 11. x equals 3 will give us a which is not an integer. x equals 2 will give 2a plus 16 equal to 7a minus 1, where a is not an integer. And x equals 1 will also give us an equation where a is not an integer. Checking the values of b equals 1 and a equals 11 and 49, we see that they are both true, and so the possibilities for a and b are 7k squared 7k, 11 1, and 49 1. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.